play scrum off for the Vodacom Blue Bulls. Ambrose, thanks for joining us. How are you today? I'm good. All right, Ambrose, let's get right into it. You were part of the Junior Springboks squad earlier this year, and you played last year as well. A big thing that we're starting to notice is that the Junior Springboks are really struggling at the World Under 20 Championships. Why do you think that's so? Um, I think, um, like, most of um, the teams overseas, like England, France, they have a lot of preparation and they are playing like a lot of games before before they went they went to the other twenty World Cup. And we as South Africa just played like two games against or three games against Western Province, the dream team. And yeah, okay, I think they are more prepared than South, the South African team. What's the biggest thing you've learned playing under twenty international rugby? What's the biggest lesson you've learned? You must be prepared at the under twenty World Cup. Like everyone is prepared and you are playing against the best. Ambrose, you made two appearances for FMB UP Tux in this year's Varsity Cup as you prepared for the under twenty World Championships with the junior spin box. Talk us through the team culture there. You know, it's it's been a couple of years since Tux last won it. And then they went on they went all the way this year and um, managed to win the tenth edition of the competition. So talk us through the team culture, what, what, what was the vibe like and did you know from spending, even if it was a very little time with the squad, that they could go all the way? Yeah, I think um, we had a good team culture with Coach Porter and all the management um, and all of the guys were very close uh, and at the, at the end it was all like a brother, a brotherhood uh, so from the beginning, I, I knew that we, we could win the team. Ambrose, you've already played a season of under-19 for the Vodacom Blue Bulls, and you've now moved up to under-21s. What are your aspirations as a rugby player in the, in the colours of the light blue jersey of the Blue Bulls? Now, I think um, to play for the Blue Bulls one day, it's a, it's a huge dream for me. And all of the, all of the young boys, um, in Pretoria, was playing um, school rugby now at the moment. They all want to play for the Blue Bulls Super Rugby. And for me, it's a huge dream. Um, for me now, it's just to work hard and to come to the system and do my best. But you do play scrum off, and uh, Pretoria has created some very good scrum offs. I mean, guys like Donnie Craven played here, uh, Robert Debris played here. And then obviously U.S. Van Veste has played here. What does it mean for you as a scrum off to be able to play your to play your trade here in at Loftus, in the shadow of such great men that came before you? I know, um, I know there was a lot of good scrum offs in the past. For me, it's a huge honor to to um, represent the Blue Bulls in the number nine jersey and to work hard and be the best scrum off that's every scrum off and every player is to be the best in his position. So for me to come through the ranks and know that you played in the number nine jersey. So for me it would be a huge honor. Ebris, you are at the Blue Bulls now and the union is going under a transformation in terms of coaching staff. Obviously uh, results have not gone the way of the team. And although you're not a senior member yet, I'm sure you would have worked with John Mitchell and you would have been around him. What do you think he can bring to the union and what are you looking forward to in terms of his coaching style? Yeah, um, John Mitchell is a very good coach. I've, from a young age, I've heard a lot about him. So for me to work under him, he came from a, a world-class um, country of rugby and to work under him will be a huge honor and I think his skills that he will bring to the Bulls will be amazing. Ambrose, as we end off, obviously there are people that look up to you. You are a role model and an inspiration. If you had a special message to motivate the next generation of young rugby players in South Africa, what would you say? Uh, for young rugby players, I would just say um, be yourself, do what you do best. And 
Just work out every day and when you get the opportunity, use it. Gamma Media would like to thank you Ambrose for spending some time with us as we learn more about you and your rugby career and we wish you all the best with your future endeavours. Alright, thank you so much.